Well, hi everyone. Well, this week I'm going to talk about the training uh, that we receive on Summer Institute, on SI, um, the kind of uh, uh, training we receive, the way it's delivered, the content, uh, what we learn from it, uh, all of those things, so you'll have an idea of what you're going to experience when you start uh, on the course. Well, at SI, we had uh, a number of different uh, styles, uh, formats of training. We started off with a two-day, really intensive uh, training uh, uh, course on just the, just the absolute basics of teaching, which was just uh, very, very intensive, very comprehensive, but also quite inspiring uh, to begin with. Um, and I guess I thought that the whole of the training would then be like that. That didn't turn out to be the case because we then started to unpack the training and look at other areas in more in more detail. So we looked at things like um, how to manage behaviour in the classroom, um, how to plan lessons. Um, there was some uh, there was some training on on leadership, on how Teach First works. Um, but it was really a uh, an initial um, uh, taster, an initial. Um, an initial initial guidance on, on on what you would what what you would do when you first got it got into the classroom in, in September. The format was a mixture of things. Um, it was some of it was what was traditional uh, lectures. Uh, some of it was done in 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 small groups. Um, some of the focus was on um, teaching in general, teaching techniques that could apply to all subjects. Um, other parts of the training were specifically targeted at those of us, in my case, who were going to teach geography, and they were mixed around on, on different days, uh, and so and so the whole um, the whole six weeks had quite a mixed feel to it. Um, often you would look at the content for the next day, and you wouldn't really know what to expect, and almost every day was quite a surprise as to what what really then tra transpired. Uh, you have to wake up in the morning thinking, oh, that's that. What does it really mean? What's really going to happen? And then um, as the day uh, as the day um, unraveled, you would then start to uh, start to see what was the, what the training really, really did include. Um, but it was uh, the timetable was pretty heavy. We were we were studying uh, most of the time. Um, and looking back, I think uh, there are some things that I really um, took on board. I really sort of soaked up. And there were other things that, uh, looking back, I think, oh, wow, we actually learned that. I didn't realize that. And I think there are some things that you struggle to take in and really understand the significance of until you're really in the classroom. But then what I do have is now resources from that time that I can then go back to uh, and, and, actually, and actually look at now, now that I'm quite some way into my, my first year, uh, and draw on as I... Um, as, as, as I then pursue my, my, my educational practice and, and strengthen my, my ability. In terms of assessment, I mean, of course, that's something that, you know, uh, many of us that, that are going into teaching from different careers may not have experienced this for some time. So there's a, there is a degree of getting, of getting used to that again. Um, I think in terms of assessment, there was one essay that we had to write while we were there. Quite hard to fit that in when you're, uh, when you're teaching, when you're studying all day, there was, you know, it, it, there, there took quite a lot to really focus on that. Um, uh, the other thing is that there are quite a lot of um, activities that you need to do to then uh, write up uh, certain things that are going on that you then upload uh, uh, online into into something called Blue Sky, which is a, a resource that captures uh, your experiences. You're writing reflections about what's going on. You're doing certain work and just just uploading it as evidence to show that you've done certain things. And I think the the key thing there is you know, stay on top of it. Um, do do bits every day, and it's not too difficult. You know, leave it for a few days, and it can really build up and become quite uh, a big task to then c catch up with yourself. And those that really stayed on top of it every day, I think, had an easier time um, of the six weeks. Uh, compared to those who were struggling in the last minute to to pull everything together, and I think probably most people were somewhere in between. I, I certainly was, but if I was doing the course again, I think I would have tried to keep on top of things every evening, rather than having had a bit of a build up towards the end that I needed to to sort out. One thing I did find was that um, 
using uh, using this new system of of uploading uh, documents completely new I, you know that I'm, I'm not from the generation that was that has really used that kind of thing in uh, in academic life and that was one thing I did notice a difference I, I in compared to those that had just come out of university they were much they seemed to be able to understand and slip into using the the electronic online systems much more easily than I did and it took me some time to, to totally understand how it all worked but once I did I really liked it and actually now I prefer it to keeping a big paper record. I find it much easier, and I actually find the system is really quite uh, easy to use and quite rewarding to use now. Now that I'm now that I fully understood them, but I think looking back, I would have taken more time to have got to grips with how it all works at the beginning than sort of been struggling struggling along for a while, not quite understanding until I finally grasped things towards towards the end of the six week period. I think one of the most positive aspects of um, Summer Institute for me, and in fact, my experience with Teach First, is that I um, I received a lot of support from quite a few different people, providing different kinds of, of, of support. Um, it's a bit overwhelming to begin with. You're sort of confronted by all these, by five or six different people that are working with you, different titles, and it does take some time to quite work out um, what they're doing and what their roles are but once you do and once I did I really felt very well supported so for example I've got um, uh, I've got tutors in geography I've got tutors in in, in, in pedagogy um, in, in, in teaching essentially I've got a leadership development officer and um, I've now got a mentor in school um, and and I found this I found this very helpful I think the key thing is to work out quite where one's responsibility starts and top stops where they overlap and then to really draw on the different experience that they that they have uh, in a way that will benefit you in, in the best possible way in terms of uh, teaching while on SI we would receive teaching from um, uh, geography specialists um, specialists in, in, in pedagogy former teachers uh, former senior leaders um, some outside visitors. It was a real variety um, of of, of, te of teaching staff. I have a, a geography tutor who started teaching us on SI and who now continues to teach us throughout the year. Um, who I think has who has shown real personal care towards those of us that are studying with her. Um, and the continuity that we've had working with her has been great. And so there's been really there's really quite a good bond that's developed within the geography cohort and with her and other one or two other geography tutors as well that have uh, that, that, that are teaching us so there's a real variety it's quite confusing to begin with and it, it is also worth spending some time just getting to grips with quite um, what what everyone's role is but once you work that out um, it's it's a it's quite a it's a supportive um, uh, network that you need when you, particularly when you jump into to teaching at the beginning of, uh, of September. Another of the really uh, exciting parts of, of, the, of the SI program was, uh, was, was learning alongside others. Um, you're very much put into different groups, a London group, a geography group, and other groups, and you really start to spend quite a lot of time learning alongside Others who have come from all sorts of backgrounds um, bring different experiences uh, to, to the table. And so, for example, when I was uh, teaching for a couple of weeks at a school in West London, I was put into a group of about six, six or seven geographers who really worked very closely together, supporting each other. Um, and some of the time I would teach particularly with one other member of that group sometimes in two, twos and threes, sometimes alone. And that was a really nice time to, to really build relationships, um, um, share resources. And I'm still very much uh, in contact with, with those students, particularly that I spent those two weeks with. It was a really, um, it was a time when we needed to draw on each other's support and each other's experience. And I think as someone who has changed career, you can bring something to that. I think you've got an experience of life that you can bring to share with others. And I think a perspective on life and a perspective on um, what is important, what is not so important, that can really help uh, a group 
often of, 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 of students, the participants that have just primarily they've just left university, you can just bring something to that group that can help, I think. And they can bring something to you as well. And I, I've learned a huge amount from, from other participants uh, on my course in a way which um, has been really rewarding and, and enriching, and, and I think far more so um, than I expected. And that's very much continued. Uh, I'm now teaching at a school in, in Newham in East London, and I think there's uh, six, seven, eight of us from Teach First in, in my year there. And I've learned a lot from the other participants in a very inspiring um, and encouraging way. And of course, I've tried to help them um, as much as I can do. But it's, it's certainly something very positive, um, very collaborative, very supportive about the, the whole environment of, in, in, which, in which the SI um, is, is, taking, is taking place. And then in which, in my case, certainly in, in, the, in the school that I'm now working in amongst those of us that are um, in the same year on Teach First and also those that have done Teach First in, in, in past years. There's something that sort of brings us together and we certainly try to help each other. So I guess the key question is, after SI being completed, um, did I feel prepared and ready to step into a classroom? I think looking back, I, 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 certainly, I certainly didn't feel a huge amount of anxiety about suddenly starting to teach. Um, I don't think I felt hugely prepared for it either. Um, but I guess I felt like I did have just about enough to start stepping into the classroom and start, and start, start teaching. Just about enough to get me through the first weeks. Um, would I have wanted more? Looking back, yes, I would have done. And I guess, I, I guess other teaching programs, uh, training programs would give you that. However, what I what has happened is that I've uh, learned huge amounts uh, by training on the job, and that's what it is. You're really training on the job, and every single lesson, every single day, you are learning something. You are learning from colleagues. You're learning from uh, support tutors and, and mentors, and you're constantly tweaking things. Ah, oh, that worked there. That worked there. That didn't work. That didn't work. And over time, you start to, to 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 build to build that up. So it's a huge challenge. And I I think half halfway into my first year, I would say now I'm feeling like, yeah, things are starting to come together, but it's taken until now. And to get to get to that point, and I'm very, very much aware of all that I don't know, how much I've still got to learn, and the work I've still got to put in. But I do feel supported, both by my colleagues in the school, and by my mentors and tutors at Teach First, in a way that I know that will enable me to get there. But it's certainly a challenge. Um, it's a huge challenge, um, but I've found it to be a manageable challenge.